Hello everybody, my name is Jefferson, and welcome to episode 1 on the Decidedly Neapolitan server. This is a server, a modded pack, put together by Bran for the Decidedly Vanilla members and friends and family. I am a few days late to the server as I've had some internet troubles, uh, but I am here, ready to go. Let's get into view and get right to it. Uh, that's a good thing right there, the cotton plant. We can gather that, make some wool. Uh, let's see if the recipe works. Whoa, watch your step. Uh, hopefully we have decent frame rates going for the series. I want to do lots of cool stuff here. Love the modded server, modded Minecraft. Alright, so if we take these... No. Uh, uses. Okay, so there we go. We can. Sweet. Just need to keep gathering that. That was 9, 18, 27 of them to make a bed. Very cool. Uh, looks like maybe Pixel Rifts is on the server. Uh, we already have Mushroom City going. And this seems to be the spawn area around this little lake right here. Nice looking area. And yeah, I have the frame rate, the f uh, frames per second in the top right corner, just to see when it drops, because it has been dropping a little bit on me, and I do have Optifine installed, very cool, uh, that is the one thing I changed uh, while installing the pack, I have to have my Optifine going, and yeah, already I am loving the journey map, changed the keys to where I need them, did a little bit of rearranging with the key binding. I have my sprint binded to Q, my drop to G, as always. Uh, so yeah, it's just instant. I can hit Q with my ring finger and go into sprint. This is the schematics building that Biran is working on. Beautiful building right there. Very cool. I have not used the schematic. <laughs> uh, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, Schematica. Uh, so yeah, we may get into that, but I need to chop down a tree. Let's go over there. I have some berries in my inventory. We can get a good food source with them. Once you have three or more, you can make a bowl of mixed berries. I guess we'll just cut down this little cluster here. And yeah, I am excited to be playing modded again. I love all of the blocks, the mods, the fun things to do, having biomes of plenty, all of the things to explore. Uh, we'll find a cool biome in the area. This is a nice biome. I like it. Uh, Boreal Forest, which always makes me think of Survivor Man, uh, one of my favorite series. Which would be kind of cool to do a Survivor Man type show in a Minecraft world. Uh, I'm going to get these, get to chopping, get to making some tools. And I know what I need to do right off the bat. We need to gather some iron, put it in, I believe it's B Rand's smeltery. Are these going to decay? Hmm, we need fast leaf decay. That's like one of the best things about modded. Uh, so where is the entrance? Right here. We can pop in and use their facilities now that we have some wood. And yeah, the Tinker's Smeltery is what I need to use to make two iron rods. Uh, Something I, if there's Tinker's Construct, I want to have the knapsack. So we'll need some gold, some leather, but if we get the iron tough rods, we can craft them up. Uh, where's the workbench? Here we go. Uh, I'm going to gather some tools, and that's not how you do it. <laughs> Uh, and head down into the caves, and I will see you down in the caves.
All right, well, I have not been able to find a cave yet. But I got all my gear, my stone gear going, and we finally, finally found some iron. I'm going to grab that, and we have some aluminum. I did get a bunch of achievements, and they don't show in chat. Strange. <laughs> uh, just the basic ones, and then I got new ore miner when I mined this copper right here. So that was cool. Is that more iron? Sweet. We need the iron. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, keep digging down. I don't know. Uh, probably just until this pick breaks and the sun rises. Uh, as it is nighttime outside right now. Uh, but we just headed north a little bit. Um, daytime. I guess I can't see over or the surface when I'm not on the surface. Uh, um, but yeah, we will get going here and be back. All right, we are back over here at the spawn setup, and my inventory is already pretty full. Need to set up some sort of a home base. Uh, but right here, oh, that nether portal is loud. Uh, I'm definitely not ready to go to the nether. Uh, let's just pop it all in there. And he can have what's left over. I just need two of these. What is that? Three, six material. Uh, so give me that. And how did that magically appear? Alright, so it is set. There's only iron in there. Iron on bottom. Give me some iron. We'll get two tough rods, and then we just have to go uh, looking for leather, and then dig down and get some gold. All right, one. Man, my inventory. Lots of stone. Very cool. One birch plank. All right, that is all we need right there. Um, what, what was this? Ingot? Yeah. I guess I'll take a couple ingots uh, and make a sword, maybe a pick. Yeah, I put lots in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, get a little ingots going. Do I want to get the uh, tools? Oh, this stuff, the factory blocks. I love it, how it sounds when you walk on it. Um, now I'm going to get my own smeltery set up uh, before I get into the tinker tools. We'll just do a couple of vanilla tools, maybe go get some diamonds right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to uh, keep playing here. Lots of stuff to do. I am excited, so we'll be back. Alright everybody, I've been on for a little bit. Set up a starter spot. Uh, kind of next to the uh, Schematica building B-Ran is working on. Just this little spot right here on the shore of this body of water. Is it a... yeah, it's a lake. Uh, I think this is a nice spot. And I'm not going to do a house. I'm going to do a sheep farm. <laughs> Some reason there's tons of sheep floating in this lake. Uh, and there was a lot of... Uh, what are they? Squids. Uh, the squids spawned in, like pack spawn, like 20 of them right there. Uh, so I harvested some of that. But I want to uh, make a barrel. I've never used these. Barrel, okay. Should we put the cobble in it? There it goes. It has a stack of cobble in it. Sweet. And uh, over there, there's a like a blue slime spawner thing set up. And I killed a blue slime, got a miniature red heart, which we can use that to craft the red heart canisters. But we need to go to the nether and start killing wither skeletons to get one of those. And the jeweled apple is a pretty easy recipe. That's a good thing right there. I like the jeweled apples. We'll put that away. And I want to make a chisel. 
I love these chisels. And it's all new now. And I'm wondering if these crates work like a crate. Uh, no. Hmm. Are there crates? So that's where it took me, right here. Uh... Abandoned crate. Hmm. Crated crate. I don't know. Maybe it's just a decorative crate. Okay. Uh, shift? No? Right click. Left click. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to bring it back one. Uh, alright. Ooh, that's a nice block. That uses durability. Strange. The, uh, usually these chisels don't take, well, they don't take durability if you're just doing it in their own menu. Uh, but I'm still rocking the berry medley, and these are way better than soup, because mushroom soup does not stack. Uh, what else? I have my gold and my iron tough rods. I made some shears. We'll, uh, probably shear things along the way. And I have a bed with me. Uh, let's check out the map. Not that one. This one. Uh, I don't know what this green thing is right here. But I'm thinking we head kind of... Southeast? See what's over there? Is that a structure right there? That might be a structure. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, this is just my little spot at spawn. Let's, uh, set a waypoint. Name. Spawn. Uh, let's edit that. Uh... Where can I edit the one I already have? Uh... Hmm, whoops, what did I just click? Uh, options, waypoints... Where are waypoint beacons? Uh... Show icon, no. Hmm. Spawn? No. <laughs> well, I want to have this... Well, I guess that's alright. Usually I set it in the sky, but it seems like it just comes on it as you hover on it. No, that's where the dot is. Well, I will edit that later. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, do some exploring, and we'll be back when I find something cool. Probably pretty soon. Alright, well we are coming back to spawn now. I just explored a good amount. Went uh, pretty much all around this area. I didn't leave this uh, body of land. This continent. Uh, this... Ooh, I didn't see that biome. That's a cool biome. Uh, either extreme hills or maybe a prairie? Not sure. We'll have to go check that out. And this looked like a nice bright green biome. We didn't go over the water yet. Uh, just kind of running around. That's a witch hut right there. I need to find cows. I think there was only one over at spawn. We can go check it out. Check out the things that other people have on the server. Uh... They've been on for a while. B-Ran and a friend, and B-Ran's son, I believe. Uh, Logan and Kane are on also. I think this is Kane's setup there. This is Diagon, I guess. <laughs> and B-Ran's place is up there. Up there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um... And I think this is his son's setup, or it was, I'm not sure. Maybe they have moved on. How do I get through here? Hello? Hello? 
Uh, is there two cows? I think there's just one. Uh huh. Somebody digging with a hammer. <laughs> uh hmm. Well, we need to find leather, so I'm going to keep exploring around, and we'll be back. Alright, we are back over here at the little starter spot. Uh, I'm not going to call it a base because I'm not going to be building a base right off. We're going to probably do just separate structures. Do one structure for the sheep and maybe one for the cows. Uh, I may just slaughter all of these guys once I am done with them. All right, I need to save a couple of these wheat. Because we're going to bring a cow over to the spawn cage over there in the cave. There was one cow in there. Uh, let's see if we can just get one out. Let's keep the wheat on our bar. Who's coming? Who's coming? Anybody? No? Yeah, here they come. Here they come. Not you. Not you. Not you. No. Back up. Back up. Back up. Ah! Escape! <laughs> uh, shoot. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Get the cow tipper achievement. Haha. <laughs> yes, we only got one leather. Aww. Alright, so will this little guy follow us all the way over? All right, let's see if we can push him in. Yes, and he didn't take fall damage. Sweet. Oh, can we produce another chicken too? No. Okay. I'm going to leave a sign. I brought you another cow. <laughs> Smiley face. And Jefferson. Uh, let's put the smiley face up top. Up one. Smiley face. Jefferson. I brought you another cow. <laughs> awesome. So now there are two cows here. Not sure who set this up. Uh, where does this go? Hmm. Whoa. Uh, can I get out? We got some stairs. Going down to here. Wow, look at this place. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, can I get out? Oh yeah, I know where I am. Now how do I get out of here? I gotta get up there. Uh, oh, we're out, sweet. All right, so I was searching for boxes, uh, like a strong box, things like that, chests, crates, uh, just different types of storage, and I saw these. Uh, they look really cool, but they're kind of glitchy. They stay open. Well, they're not staying open now. Will it sound like it shuts? Uh, I don't know, sometimes they're, yep, there it goes, it shuts, but it's open. Um, and mobs have a hard time with them. Mobs seem to glitch into them. Uh, so I probably won't use them very often or use them in my main storage room, but they're funny looking. 
Uh, and are we going to get any achievements if we make the brick? Yes, we got the book. Sweet. Uh, how do I make a bookshelf? Shelf. Potion. Shelf. <laughs> Not sure if you can hear, like, the helicopter flying over. Uh, I live right near a hospital now. Where is the bookshelf? Yeah. You can definitely hear that helicopter. <laughs> I'm not in a war zone, it's just a helicopter going to the hospital. Major hospital. Um, what am I doing? Bookshelf. No bookshelf. Okay, fine then. Book. Nothing. Will it fit on a regular shelf? Not a potion shelf, just one of these. What's the... Okay, slabs. So, we need more slabs. Yoop, yoop. I can't remember if I saw any bookshelves up in uh, somebody else's base. Huh? No. That'll work, but... <laughs> That's not what I'm thinking. Uh, and yeah, the, the sheep farm, the wool farm, is a necessary thing with... Uh, let's go... Let's just go like this. Uses for wool. No, get out of here. Uh, right here. Uses all of the bibliocraft things. Pretty much everything requires wool. Uh, so if anybody wants to get into that, they're going to need a steady supply of wool. And the cows are just uh, so I can get my knapsack. <laughs> there we go. Repopulation. Nice. We had to get the cow tipper first. All right. All right. Uh, so I'm going to uh, start building this up uh, probably will find a base off camera somewhere where I want to set up a permanent temporary spot probably underground I'm not sure we may build a house might as well I like uh, building and there's lots of blocks to choose from here ah we're in the sheep pen <laughs> uh, so oh crap that is so that they uh, have grass. They're not going to eat all of their grass because they can't eat that block. Hopefully that works. And it keeps the babies out of the hole. I bred them once and came back and there was a piece of wool in there and no baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll keep this spot probably just for a sheep farm because it's really close to Iran's structure. I don't want to encroach on his design. Uh, so we'll just do one structure over here and probably move the cows once I get them finished and harvest, once I finish building in the area and move on to the next project, uh, which will probably be our base. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for today here on the Decided Neapolitan server. Till next time, as always, thank you. I will see you later.